What comes to mind when you hear the words Asia Minor? Does the home of the Apostle Paul come to mind? Or do the letters of Ephesians and Colossians? When you hear the words Asia Minor, do you recall a major hub of the early church? What about the Cappadocian church fathers who were pioneers in theology, human rights, and creating systems of humanitarian relief? When you hear of the words Asia Minor, do you think of the Armenians who have been living there for thousands of years with their churches, monasteries, and schools? Asia Minor is the land where my ancestors are from. And 105 years ago, the Ottoman Turkish government committed acts of genocide against 1.5 million Christian Armenians, Assyrians, and Greeks. Civilians were systematically annihilated and Christian culture was completely uprooted from the region. The tragedy is the descendants of the ones who committed the crime still deny that it ever happened. This would be akin to Germany pretending that the Holocaust never took place or if the United States denied that there was a trail of tears. But the evidence is there. The Armenian genocide did happen. All you would have to do is have an archaeological dig to see the ruined churches and the mass grave sites of those who were ruthlessly murdered 105 years ago. The Armenian genocide was not just an attempt to eradicate ethnic groups. It was an attempt by the Ottomans to rewrite history. Henry Morgenthau, an eyewitness to the crimes, and the United States ambassador to the Ottoman Empire, asked the question in 1918. Will the willful execution of this whole devilish scheme to annihilate Armenians, Greeks, and Syrian Christians of Turkey, will all this go unpunished? The good news is that the survivors of the genocide have kept their Christianity. They have rebuilt their communities and churches across the diaspora, and we have not forgotten the lost history of Christianity, and we will fight for recognition and justice for our ancestors who were the victims of genocide.